Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. If you have just sort of followed on from the last Halloween haul, then you will know that this is also going to be a Halloween haul. However, it's a Poundland haul first of all because Poundland have got their Halloween stuff out. So I took a trip down to my local Poundland today. It is only a small one, so our selection isn't huge. However, I did pick up some goodies. So I'm going to get some of the bits out of the way first because there is other non-Halloween related items in here and then I'll do some Halloween goodies. The first a little bit boring, I just picked up some of the oval cotton face pads. I use these to take my makeup off and do my skincare and things and I prefer the really big oval ones. You get 100 in there for a pound, can't really say much more about them. Next, I <laughs> I got a book, except it's not a book book. I got a coffee break crossword book. I don't know why. It's got 200 quick crossword puzzles in there. There's word searches, crosswords and a Sudoku one. I just grabbed this one. I'm terrible at crosswords but I kind of wanted to keep I want to keep my mind active instead of just staring at a screen all day. I think doing something like this every once in a while is, I don't know, a good way to stimulate your brain. It was a pound. I'm going to move on. So I got a couple items of clothing. The first one, kind of boring, is just some socks. These are the men, men's sports socks. Size 6 to 8.5. Alex actually has quite a lot of these. However, I've been pinching his for when I go roller skating. So I thought I'd buy my own. These are £2, but they're really good quality socks. They're kind of just of your baseball -y style socks. You get white, pair of black ones, and another pair of white ones. And I know they're men's men's but i have big ass feet anyway so i can wear these they're quite long which is nice they're a really good size for if you roller skate so if you are in the uk and you roller skate and you want some socks good pound land then next i'm so excited about these now i'm looking at them though they look pretty big but these are from the women's section these are a size 10 and they're basically just some wide leg long trousers i live in wide leg long trousers that's what i'm wearing right now these are incredible these were only eight pound they are so soft I, th I think as i sort of saw them if i see something that looks fluffy i just want to see what it feels like and i saw these and was like mm, they are coming home with me and they better have my size don't know how well you're gonna be able to see but it's kind of like this ribbed fabric but it's so so soft i don't know what it's called it's got a really nice elasticated waist so i hope to god they fit these are going to be the perfect lounge pants and they're so long they look super high waisted and i have really long legs so hopefully these will fit me but they are a bargain for £8. They're so soft. Quality is amazing. Well done, Poundland. So, some boring items. I just got some bubble envelopes. You get six in a pack. I own my own business, if you don't know, and I have to buy shipping envelopes like there's no tomorrow. So, I grabbed some six for a pound. is a great deal. I bought a lighter because... <laughs> because I was hoping at this point I would have a load of new spooky candles. I have none. I think I have one pumpkin one and that's it. I needed a new one. These super long ones are fab for just reaching to the bottom of candles to light. It was only a pound. I do still have a hell of a lot of candles from last year that I'm too... I just don't want to burn them. I want them to last forever from Halloween, so I, sh I should probably start burning them. Okay, next we've got Dinky and Friends. I'm pretty sure I have shown Dinky Sweets before on this channel. These are kind of from the new collection. So these are Dinky and Friends. They're the fruit ones, which is your normal Dinky ones. And then... Cola, I believe. These are actually vegan friendly, so if I see any vegetarian or vegan sweets, I grab them quickly because I have a really bad sweet tooth. And I also have a bum pad <laughs> for a bike. So I actually have one of these already on my bike, however, my mum recently got a bike and was looking for one of these and she just couldn't find one. You basically just pop it over your bike seat, pull it tight, and it's just a bit squishier on your Bum. It just makes it a bit easier on your bottom when you're writing. <laughs> These are such a good idea. So I grabbed my mum one of those for a pound. Let's do the Halloween stuff. The main reason I went in there and the main thing I wanted was this little ghost here. Our house is kind of decorated with lots of different ghost stuff. Anything that's cute as ghost related, we will buy. Wasn't gonna pass up on this little guy. It's so cute. It's just white, black. It's got a star on the back to help some of the smoke and the air escape. And you just pop a little tea light in there. For only a pound, this is super, super cute couldn't pass it up so i just grabbed this sort of little bucket bag here it's so cute it just says boo it's got a little handle it's kind of made of like a really thick felt fabric and i thought this was so cute so to put maybe some candle wax melts or whatever in there it was only a pound or some sweets to put on display for trick-or-treating i don't really know i just thought it was really really cute for only a pound i did also grab the cat 
version of the tea light holder so this is just a black and white cat i didn't necessarily plan on getting this one however it was kind of too cute to pass up the paint job's a bit shit but i can always repaint it myself but we have cats so and it's black and white it's gonna fit in with our home decor anyway this next thing is so cute obviously meant for a child when they go trick-or-treating but i don't care it's just a little ghost bag and it's really fluffy and so cute. I put it down, got it out of the bag early and the first thing Koshka did was just sit on it. It just kind of has this lopsided ghost face. It's really cute. I thought this was going to be great to put, I don't know, some sweets in it or maybe Koshka's toys or whatnot and just hang it on one of our doors. And finally, we just have a few little small things. We actually have some tights. <laughs> I got one of their fishnet tights and some of their black and white striped ones. I actually get these in large because I have really long legs and a small or medium comes to like my knees so i always get them in large they're fishnet tights i don't necessarily buy them for halloween i buy them for like all year round use because they're a decent quality and they're only a pound so i tend to stock up around halloween but i got plenty last year and then the black and white ones are kind of just for i don't know maybe a halloween costume maybe a bit of fun i don't know i just bought them and then finally we just have some napkins <laughs> these are just some party napkins i just couldn't resist them because they had a little ghost on them so you get 20 in there it says don't forget our party plates and cups so i'm guessing there's like a pie range but i just saw the ghost and was like yes i will take you <laughs> but that is actually everything that i picked up in poundland this time i don't know if our poundland is going to get more stock in because it is only a few days into it and i do live in a very very small town where there isn't much stock there anyway i know last year i did pick up some clothing items so i don't know if they're gonna bring anything more out but for now i'm kind of happy with those little goodies anyway thank you so much for watching please give a massive thumbs up leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you are not i'll leave all my social media linked down below as well so feel free to head on over there and check me out but i'll see you in my next one bye